Alright, Shalom, Shalom. I'm here with um, the art um, Eliezer. Shalom, um, Shalom. He ties it Dark Shaw and Brother Roland. Yeah, so we got um, Brother Roland here. Um, so basically, um, we're just going to have a civil dialogue. The Brother Eliezer mm -hmm. um, introduced me to the Brother Roland. Mm -hmm. um, and you met him by way of, uh, what was the brother's name? Uh, Sever. Yeah, Sever. Yeah. So I mean, basically, um, what we Sherell, Sherell. I always mess his name up. Yeah. I, my apologies. <laughs> so basically, we're just gonna have a civil dialogue and just wanna make sure the truth is actually going forth. This is not any kind of challenge or you know, we just like uh -huh. trying to live according to the scriptures uh -huh. through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So you know, I say Shema Yasha Allah Yahweh Allah Yahweh Yahweh Kaar. So um, with that. Um, we're gonna let the brother um, introduce himself. Um, you know, just you know, actually state your organization or your belief, whatever you know, you just receive from it. Uh, I'm Roland. I'm a Seventh Day Adventist, a Christian. Uh, I believe in Christ. So, brother Roland, now, you know, just for people out there, because do are you aware what a Seventh Day Adventist is? Clearly. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, could you um, could you could you um, elaborate on that, brother Roland? Exactly, what are the beliefs or Seven Day Adventists? That's when you say Christians, a little now, different from the rest of the um, other yeah, religions. Yes. Yeah. So, Christians. for instance, you know, in my um, studies, I've actually come to the conclusions that all forms of Christianity actually derive from Roman Catholicism, which was actually essentially. Um, dominated by Constantine, who was actually a so-called black man from 320 AD and forward. So could you explain how a Seventh-day Adventist may actually differ from like a Jehovah Witness, um, a Mormon, or a Baptist, and so on and so forth, like the other um, denominations of Christianity? Uh, I guess the most obvious thing is that we keep the Sabbath. So that's probably uh, the most obvious thing. Uh, it differs in many different ways. Uh, Seventh-day Adventists believe, for instance, that the Pope is the Antichrist. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's many different beliefs within the Seventh-day Adventists. I mean, it's, it's hard for me to, to go into each Category. Well, well, what but, about specifically well, what y'all teach? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we teach, I mean, like I said, it's it's, it's, it's kind of hard just to go into what we teach. You know, we try to follow the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the Old Testament and as well as the New Testament. You know, it goes together. And um, we just try to follow the Bible. That's, that's it. That's, you know, it's not like... Uh, Yeah, you got it. No, no, no. I got a question from that. You, you got a question? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you say y'all believe in the Old and the New Testament. Um, you know, uh, I see a lot of um, Christian church um, struggling with um, balancing or understanding how they are related. Um, you believe we um, have to keep the Ten Commandments as long as, as well as the other laws that's in the Bible? Of course. Yes? Okay. Um, that's the main reason why we keep the Sabbath, because the Sabbath is the Fourth Commandment. True. This is true. Um, you got a question for me? Yeah, so um, let me ask you this. Now, according to your beliefs, um, and what you see in the scriptures, by the way, which version of the Bible do you read from? Uh, is this King James? James? Oh, all right, all right. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, according to what you actually believe, uh, can everybody, when I say everybody, as long as um, you're doing what your, um, I guess, denomination specify, can all nations of people be saved according to your belief? In other words, can um, African people that's not of uh, Israelite 
descent be saved can so-called white people who according to the Bible are Edomites can they be saved can Japanese be saved um, as long as they actually embrace your belief and attend your church because thus far from what I've learned like all forms of Christianity seem to teach that despite what nation you're from um, despite you know um, you know um, who you are or what country you're from as long as you believe and they use that term JC as long as you believe in him then you can be saved is that what your um, church teach um, and if so is your church teaching the truth Of course, my church. Uh, oh, let's see. Can we make sure that's recorded? Let's get the mic's on. We talk. Of course, my church teaches that if you follow Christ, that you can be saved, and it teaches that uh, that uh, God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have eternal life, and that. You know, that's that's what it is. All right. Let me um, elaborate on that. So basically, um, just like the other. Um, so you gotta ask one question at a time because if you throw in like five questions, I can't remember them all. Oh no, I'm just I'm yeah, just gonna respond saying. to so what I, you said. No, right no, no I'm just saying that. So if you keep your, your questions one at a time, then I could. Or you know, if you need a paper, I could write down the next question or whatever. I can get your paper, but. Oh no, I'm just going to make a remark can, according to that. John 3.16. So right. basically, John, give me John 17 and all. So basically, according to um, John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, right. that whosoever right. shall believe in him That's all nation. shall not perish, right. but have everlasting life. I heard it so many times in North Verbatim. Right. Now, one of the one of the one of the, one of the um, problems that our people have is they they don't read the Hebrew, and when they read, they don't pay the context or specific attention to context to certain words or actually written it. Mm -hmm. So when 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 John three sixteen say for God so loved the world, is it talking about the entire earth? As a planet, meaning that world, or is it to, yeah, sorry. is it talking about a specific people under a specific nation following particular customs and so on and so forth? Because what I actually did is I went into the dictionary and I defined the word "world," and when you define the word "world," world could mean the entire earth as a whole. World could also mean a specific people in a particular area practicing particular customs and so on and so forth. Now, many people say that the scriptures are tampered with. Um, Esau may be in there a little bit, but the Bible is still written in a language that's very clear and precise. Now, John 3.16 says, For God loved the world, and according to your understanding, everybody can be saved, right? So, and you believe that Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, the one that you may call Jesus or the Christ, is a Savior, right? Oh. So, despite what anyone else says, whatever he says stands, right? Because he is the Savior. He is Hamashiach, right? Of course. So, whatever he says goes. Now, let's get John 17 and 9. Because it said, John 3, 16, say, God so loved the world. Now, we're going to find out which world did he love. Was he talking about the entire planet Earth, or was he talking about a specific people practicing specific customs and so on and so forth? Read what you got up. This is John chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them. Let's stop. Let's get some understanding. Now it says, I pray for them. So he's directing this to a specific people. We're going to find out who the them is. Is he talking about the whole world? Or is he talking about a specific people? He said, I pray for them. 
I pray not for the world. Oh, what, 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 what? Are you sure you're reading that right? That's you said, said I pray not for the world? So now we got a problem because we just write in John 3.16 that God so loved the world, you know, that he gave his only begotten son. So it can't be talking about the entire planet Earth. Is it, read it again, brother. This is John 17, verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Okay, so if he's not praying for the entire world, obviously he's not praying for the world. He said, I pray for them. And I can tell you who the them is. He's talking about the Israelites. Because we know, according to Matthew 15, 24, he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hamashiach Yahweh said that himself, Matthew 15, 24, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. God. And we already agreed that whatever the Hamashiach said from his own mouth, that's where it stands. Despite our misunderstanding of anything else, right? Finish reading. God. It continues to say, but for them which thou has given me, for they okay. are thine. So he said, for them that thy has given me. So he's basically saying, Hamashiach is saying, I pray for them that Yahweh, a Yahweh, has given me. Well, who did he give to Hamashiach Yahweh Let's get Matthew 15, 24 and see who was given there. Was it the whole world or was it a specific people? Because uh -huh. Matthew 15, 24, he said he was only sent to the house of Israel. God, this is Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. Hold on, hold on. So, despite what anyone would say, Hamashiach is saying right here, I am not sent. He said, I am not sent. Not into the Greeks, not into the Russians, not into the Dutch, not into the Polish, not into the Africans. I am not sent, but. But. He said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He called them lost sheep is because they started to call themselves um, different names um, because they had actually strayed off, just like our people today is calling themselves. Did you actually read that? Or did you just take scriptures out? Well, if you actually, if you, I know, but if you actually read what, you, what you're saying, because you have no idea what you're talking about, That's first of all. Okay. No, this is a book that I'm reading. Oh, well. But if you would actually... Pull it? Hold on. If you would actually read the chapter and not take scriptures out of context, you would understand what you're reading. Now, you're taking stuff out of context, first of all. What was taken out of context? Everything he's saying is taken out of context. Okay. So, what what he's, what he's, listen God. to what I'm saying to you. So, I'll right. I, I, I defend what I'm saying, all right? Okay. So, you're, and then you're acting right and rave or whatever you're doing. Now, what he's, what he's saying is right now is he is sent to the lost sheep of Israel. But, but, the lost sheep of Israel rejected him and, and had him killed. That's what, that's what happens when you read the chapter. And then, and then they stone Stephen. When he says to his disciples, go to the lost sheep of Israel first, and they rejected him, and then he opens it up to all Gentiles. That's what happens. If you, Show me if you, if you read it, so if, I mean, if you reading it and you, I'm you doing all these though. interviews and everything like that, and you don't know what you're reading, I can't. Okay, I can't read the scripture, brother. I can't. I brother, can't go through every. Emotional, every I'm not getting emotional. Calm. I'm trying to. Loud. I'm just trying talk. to explain something to you that you're taking stuff out of context. I can you prove and if it? You can read, you give us the script? Listen to what I'm saying. Read the whole chapter. We read it. I right. didn't read now, it. What I'm you saying? took stuff out of context. You know what I'm saying? I never I'm just, read this whole chapter. I'm telling you, yes, you never read the whole I'm chapter. You're lying. I read right, this I'm, whole book. I'm just telling you what I know. I read this whole book. I'm telling you what I know. I read this whole book of Matthews. How are you going to tell me? You don't even know me, brother. And you I'm said just that telling you what I know. How can you tell okay, but me? Why you come I, here to talk to me if you don't want to talk to me? If you don't want to talk to me, you don't have to. All right, that's brother, what I'm saying to you. I'm, 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 I'm trying to brother, accommodate you. Getting you getting emotional. Why are you getting I'm out? I'm not getting trying out to you, accommodate you. All right, but you're, when you, but you're what saying, I'm saying to you is, is listen to what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you're taking I've never it read out of. That's what you're okay, saying to me. The, the floor I've is never, yours. If you would have read it, then you would see what I'm saying to you. That what, the Lord. Read it, brother. The, show us what we're The floor is yours. That's the context. Read it. Show us in the Bible what you're saying. 
Because so right here, Matthew 15, 24. Right. Well, you, got it on, you got it on camera. Now we got to go through stuff and scriptures and everything like that. Either you want a dialogue or you want to... Yeah, but I mean, you got the mic in your hand. You can show us. You can put it in contact. understand what you want. Brother, all we're asking is that you go to the Bible. Right, show us what you're Because we're not going off a conjecture. We're not going off a question. We're reading it to you. Yeah, you're reading it, but you're reading it out of context. Okay, so read it in the right context. Put it in context. Read it in the right context. That's all we're saying. What scripture y'all reading? I want read it. Matthew 15, 15 24, 24. 24. Come on up. Now, in this thing that you're reading, they rejected Christ. No, Pharisees he said to them, you are of your the father. Yeah, give give me the scriptures to show you. He said, you are of your father. But who was he talking to? He was talking to the Israelites. No, he wasn't talking to the whole he nation of Yahshua. Yeah, 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 no, he was not. He was talking to the Pharisees yeah, and the Sadducees. I'm going to show you the verse. Bring that up. I'm going to bring this out for you, brother. He was on. Look. Excuse me, sister. I'm bringing it out. Watch this. Hold on. So, when. First of all, he wasn't talking to the whole nation of Israel. It was the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the high priests, the Sanhedrin, that was at the Hamashiach, the Hawashah. Because the they knew... Were there. What was that? And the people were there. There was people around. No, he... Yahawashah had many followers. Yeah. This is why they didn't want to put him to death. They said, we cannot stone this man because in front of them. They, they had to go to him secretly to try and kill him uh -huh. because he had so many followers. Yeah. They say, what will we do? Even yeah. Pontius Pilate said that. Uh -huh. You know, the people want this man. Mm -hmm. He had many followers, but he had people that knew that the Hamashi Pa'at was supposed to come to birth, and they wanted to put him to death. John. There were several times that he fled for his life because the Sanhedrin wanted this man put the John, John, John wasn't the whole nation of Israel. Look, John 8, John 8 and 31. It says, And then said Yahweh to those Jews which believed on him. That's right. So there were Jews who believed in him. And watch this. When you go to Acts 21, watch this. Acts 21 and verse 20. It said, And when they heard they was glorified, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, and they are zealous of the law. So there were many thousands of Jews. That's not a small amount. I mean, this this is a myth. Look, this is a myth. Well, there were Jews that believed in the Most High. And of his course, son. there were Jews that believed in and the Most High. And his son. He was healing them. He was doing, but, but what he I'm saying, you're Lord, saying Lord. that the entire nation rejected him, and that's not true. I'm saying the entire nation as a whole. No, they didn't. But we just read the this many, right? many, so many of thousands. Many of thousands. This is exactly what I'm saying to you, all right? Did I make that up or did I read that? Go ahead. God has people and Satan has people. Just because you black don't mean you're a child of God. Give us just scriptures, black. man. I'm just saying. Give us, give I'm us just saying in, 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 that's all in we have. That's, that's your life. We, that's we're going to see scriptures. scriptures. In real life. But we're giving you, you know scriptures. I mean? We want so scriptures. If you, if yeah, but you you, what, you, what you're giving him scriptures for is, is an example of what? That there no. were people who were not Jewish or no, that no, weren't no, Jewish no, no, that believed in God. What we were saying is that. The Most High, the one that you refer to as God, right. only throughout the Bible, he only had a specific people that he was dealing with throughout the entire Bible. So first it was uh, the Jews or no, the not, Israelites? It was always, well not Jews, because the Jews Israelites. are something more than not. It was Israelites or the Hebrews, okay. you know, um, properly stated, Yasha Allah. Not uh -huh. the people that they refer to as Jews. They, see, a lot of Christian churches teach that, yeah, he was with the Israelites, but they turned their back on him. How can you say that the whole nation rejected him if he's sitting up there with 12 disciples who are all Israelites? And, 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 you then, know and, then, and then came time Pentecost, right? Acts 2, it said the Jews throughout all the nations gathered together. How can you say the entire nation rejected him when all these people are coming together to fellowship? Under the most high from, from, from the beginning, sister, it tells us in Matthew one twenty one that he was sent to save his people. It right. uses a personal pronoun. Right. That it's the it's Christ, it. the a, Christ was sent to save a specific, a specific people. people. Well, well, but he did branch out. 
to other people. Okay, so and that's what now, now, now this is what this is what we're saying. The Christian church teach that, but what we're asking for is scriptures. Right. What he's given us is not scriptures. We're asking him to go to well, the scriptures. Well, maybe he's not as learned oh, as far right. as scriptures. Well, listen, well, listen, where the scriptures are. So I can, all right. Maybe he's not he's not as familiar with where the scriptures are. He knows I what he's saying. I, can I know you can look up. up but I'm just saying, but brother, we want to read from the Bible. Well, you the, should you should have let me know the situations before you came, and I would have had all of that prepared. They don't only teach that Jesus, Joshua, whoever you call him, came to a specific. He but did. It, it, you know what I know is that Jesus came to. A specific people but right. he wasn't going to stay with those people he was going to branch out to save all people where is that and in the bible the are, i mean i can't i'm i'm learning in the bible i'm not really good with tell you exact scriptures but i know what i'm talking about i can tell you that and i know that jesus didn't only come for israelites i do know that and i do know that he branched out and that other people were saved other than israel and i tell you another thing the Sanhedrin and all the people that you're talking about were the people that were against him. But other people turned against him also. You know, many, many times. Even his own disciples turned out of against fear. him. Yeah, out of, out of fear, fear, whatever you want to call it. But they still did it. They but they, still did they didn't really turn against him. They were just afraid to admit that they were associated with him because they thought they was going to be put to death as well. Even okay, Peter so then why, why would they have regret? Why would they have... Um, the one who denied him three times. Peter. And he even told him he was going to deny him three times. No, Lord, I would never do that. But he did it. And when he did it, he knew that God had said to him that he was going to do it. You understand? And he still did it. So, I mean, that's not really, you know, he turned against him. And in essence, if I say, if, if, I, if you told me you're going to do something against me, and I said, no, I'm not going to do that. And I do it, I turned against you. And I didn't mean to do it. But because of the circumstances and the time he was in, he did it. Mm -hmm. it yeah, um, so when you say turned against him, you're making it sound as if Peter had a plot to kill him. No. Uh, that's not absolutely true. Absolutely not. Again. But he, he, he did not, he denied him. Uh, uh, again, he already prophesied that. Yeah. So what was he doing? He was fulfilling prophecy that Hamachiah brought forth. Okay, he and still was so fulfilling it, but Peter could have stopped himself. He couldn't have said, because he knew. Prophecy. Okay, but he knew that this was going to happen. He denied to Jesus that he was going to deny him. He said, I could never do that. Mm -hmm. But he still did it. But he didn't know because he wasn't the Hamashiach. We get on Psalms 105, um, 9 and 10. Because, uh, again, you're saying that he branched out to other people. Hey. But the, the, the prophecy says that it's an everlasting covenant. Everlasting means forever. Okay, he so established his covenant with let's, Israel let's forever. Get first, let's get the script. Let's get the script. First. Let's get the script. This is Psalms 105, um, verse 9 and 10. Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting That covenant. means forever. Okay. So, so any Anybody branch out? But anyone that says that he cast his people away. No, he did not. Branching out is not casting your people away. He never turned his back on Israel. Uh, 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 right. or listen, whatever you but, call it. But right. the sister. Uh, uh, I'm they looking, rejected him. Uh, I'm looking for the scripture where it says that he branched out. Because you know what? Christians go off. What happened is that. Now you know that the nation of Israel divided, right? Yeah. Under Solomon. Right. Because his tranquility was diminished. Because he took these women of the other nations, he went against the Lord's statutes and commandments, so the kingdom was actually divided into two kingdoms. The northern kingdom retained the name Israel, which is actually ten tribes, and the southern kingdom was comprised of Judah and Benjamin and one right. fourth of Levi, right. who was actually the priest. Right. So the northern kingdom went astray before the southern kingdom. So when they went astray, they started referring to them as Gentiles. People thought that they was Gentiles. Why? Because just like many of our people today in, in America, they think they're Baptists, they think they're Jehovah Witness, they think they're Buddhists, they think they're Muslims. So they lost the name Israel and they became Gentiles in a Gentile state of mind. That's what Paul is talking about in the book of Romans. So you had two types of Gentiles in the scriptures. You had some that was Gentiles of birth, 
meaning the other nations, right. but you had Israelites that became Gentiles, which you could actually read in the Apocrypha and in the book of Romans. Get, get Isaiah. You can also get it in, um, you can also get it in Matthew. Yeah, I got Isaiah 43 and 10. Just one more scripture about um, how he has not cast away his people. Okay. So who said he cast away his people? Thirdly, you say he branched out. Yeah, he got, he got other people too. So you, mean, so, so you say that God only is for the Israelites. That's it. That's it. Nah, Specifically. This is it's, you know why? This is it's, because, it's because of the teachings that's actually been indoctrinated into your mind. So it's exceedingly difficult to allow new information to go into your brain cells because the old information is actually retracting it but it's written here You're this, it, this is why we're You're asking you it. to show scripture sister read what you got I'm gonna have to this is um, Isaiah, yeah, I, I mean, I listen, listen Isaiah to the 43 and 10 this, this is the Bible ye are my witnesses now who's he talking to he's talking to the nation of Israel God said Yahweh say Yahweh my servant whom I have chosen. He have chosen only Israel. Go ahead. That ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there is no there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I even I am Yahweh, besides me there is no, no Savior. Right. So he said, We are the witnesses, the Israelites. In, in Deuteronomy, we are special people. The Most High said, we are special people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have chosen you above all people upon the earth. Now, if you had two sons, sister, yeah. if you told one son he was special over the other, you would make the other son feel like he's nothing. Right. But the Most High said this in the Bible. Ye are a special people. I have yeah, chosen you. I, rem I remember the scripture. I, I remember now, the scripture. Um, now, now, I'm about to read something. Put the mic a little closer. It's probably going to come um, out. Okay. Let me get it. And Peter's. All right, in Peter's, in Peter's, 1 Peter's 4 and 11, it said, If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So what that means is we supposed to be saying what the Bible is saying. Right. That's Scripture. The, that's how we're supposed to be teaching and speaking. Right. That's why when we, when we say stuff, we're, we're going to Scriptures. That's how we're supposed to do it. The, the problem is... Um, We've been taught things and we're used to it. And we never actually got the proof in scriptures. It just sound good and it felt right. The scripture in Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding. So this is why it's very important that we don't just go on our own feelings because our feelings will mislead us. So if we feeling something, we got to go here to confirm right. if that feeling is God sent or whether it's Satan playing with our minds. Right. We have to do that. That's right. me, you, that's all oh, of that's us. Everybody. That's why as we're speaking, we're, we're reading it to you to, to let you know and to confirm in ourselves that what we saying is what? It's true. It's thus says the Lord. Look, it said all thy ways and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. So everything that we discussing, we got to acknowledge it in this Bible. We got to go in this Bible and prove it. We can't just get emotional and start saying things what we think well, you know, we know. No, because, because, because you can memorize what, what, scripture. What Everybody saying, is not good at that. Sister, I tell you what you do. Right? I know what you say. Right. I understand right, every scripture sister, you read so sister, far, I knew in my heart. All right, that's, you know? that's good. But, but I'm, sister, I cannot what, tell you what where is, it was. Sister, what I'm saying is you cannot expect us who are told not to lean on our own understanding, right? right. You can't expect us to believe what you're saying if you won't prove what you're saying because the scripture says prove all things. Mm -hmm. That's in the scripture, sister. So you can't expect us to just hear you and you won't provide no Bible. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. This is all that I was saying. That's why right. I asked him, could he read it from, from the scriptures? Right. Because we got to follow this thing. Trust in your heart with all thy heart. Absolutely. We got. We have to go here to confirm what you're saying, no, yay you're or nay. We right. have to. It's no offense right. to him, no, and it's, it's no not offense no to it's you. Not offense. I'm not offended. Yeah. What what yeah, we're saying is what we're saying is if you're gonna say something, 
please Proven. back it up right. with scriptures. Proven. We're not attacking you. I'm We're not, not attacking you. you. The only is, thing you're saying is. If you is, wanted that, I could have set you up with that. You didn't right. ask me if right, that's what I had. Down, brother, because don't tell I me to calm know. down. Will you keep brother, telling me to calm down for you don't see you excited? Is, is he getting excited? Nah, you don't see, yeah, that's just you know what I'm saying. Right? No, he's, 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 he's passionate. Uh, he's, passionate. Okay. he's not getting excited. Uh, yes. So I'm yes. just saying that if you would have asked me, for that, I would have, I would have gave you. Because he you didn't, give, you didn't give me that. You didn't tell me that. As far as I see? knew, as far as I knew, mm -hmm. we was just having a dialogue. Okay. I told you that okay. several times. I did not know this was going I on. I told you that, and I told you that I didn't know that, right? Yeah, yeah, and I said, and, 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 and I did tell you, uh, brother. I asked you, I, I, was it okay? Now but you this know is what that. I'm saying. Didn't I say that? Yeah, but you didn't say you that said it was okay. You didn't say that we was going into scripture. You said that we was gonna have a dialogue on camera. That's what you told me. But we have to. We have. I to understand. I thought we were having a discussion. And I told and you. Yeah, he was not prepared for that. That's all okay. he said. He wasn't prepared. Okay. He right. could have and I prepared. Told you that. He okay. have elders. He have people okay. that he so can prepare with. That's what, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Like if if I prepared. wanted to, to you know, really get something through, like that, you know, I would have had it done. Let's, let's, I know. That's what I'm the confusing you. Comes you know what I'm saying? I know. With the third party, because first I wasn't communicating with this man. Right. I was communicating with um, Sorrell. Right. Sorrell, I let him know everything that we saying now. Right. He didn't let the brother know. I didn't know that. Like, you understand? I know. I didn't I, know I that he didn't you. let you know. But I, I, I told let you, him know I told that. You, what I'm saying. I told you everything. And what did I respond and say? I said, "Are you still willing to do the interview with all that?" Right. I you said, didn't say we gonna go well, into depth. Work line by line. I thought we was. Yes. I thought we was having a discussion. That's what you do. That's, that's what the scripture said, though. Isaiah 28 verse 6. Yeah, but I understand we have to, but I didn't think that that's what he was doing. But he thought he was just talking to you, like you talking to me. Right. I mean, but that's what we're basically doing. Yeah, but you are learned and you already know where everything you you know. I got my body with me. Yeah, I always have a sword with me. Yeah, me too. I got my sword with me too. I'm saying, you know, I don't walk without my sword. But away from the book house, as you didn't know, but. I made it. I made it clear to um, no because brother Sorrell, one thing about and, this, and this is that you know, it makes it look uh, like um, no, yeah, ignorance yeah. on his side, and he's not ignorant. He's very learned. He may not know it as well as you do as far as pull it out of the script, you know, which scripture, uh -huh. which verse, but he knows it. All right. And just like me, I know it. Okay. I can tell you. You can pull any part of All that right. Bible, and I can tell this you. This is a story in Acts. This is a story in Acts, and God is telling. Come that he can go talk to people that's unclean. This is Acts uh, 10, 28. And if you're familiar with the story, or oh, we can read the story. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Story. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. But this is this is one of the analogies that he uses. That God is He's sending him to to other people. You know, it's 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 plenty of other uh, uh, evidences in there. You know, I could have, like I said, I could have had it all laid out if I would have known. You know, this is what we were going to do. But you know, I'm not prepared for all of that. But all I'm saying is that the devil has his people, God has his people, and just because you're Israelite doesn't mean your God's people. And just because you're white doesn't mean that you're the devil's people. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. That's what the scripture said. Whosoever. But who was he talking to? He was talking to Israel. He said, whosoever. Who, whosoever. That's but what you're, it is. You're taking that whosoever. verse. But I'm, you're not, not, I'm not taking If you that finish verse. reading it out, you can, you can use a verse and then say what it is, but when I say that it says whosoever, which means all. But, but you're leaving out but the God so loved the world. I'm taking it out of context. You see? You said the God so can't be You're leaving out the God so loved the world. And we went into Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 17 kills that. It's, yeah. it's not saying that he loves the world, it's saying that he loves everybody. It doesn't say that. He loves everybody. It doesn't say he doesn't, that. He doesn't want you to be in the world. You know what you need you, to do, brother? Do not, you, you need to get you need to get an eastward so you can read some of this in Hebrew. And you will see that the world that it's talking about is not the earth as a whole. It's talking about a particular people in a particular custom. That's what I'm gonna do. Excuse me. Come on. 
Let's 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 read what he's talking about. No, no, I mean he can't he can't find it. No, I mean you know what he's talking about. And what what I'm, are you I'm talking about? Acts? I'm a, no, I'm gonna show you something. You're we're talking about Acts and chapter? Hold on. We're gonna talk about what are you talking about? about the God so love. This is what we're gonna talk about. A lot of people he was speaking on content and how people I just don't pulled read. up a verse where people don't he, read he said, he said people don't people read too. the whole chapter. Now, this is what he said. He said when we read Matthew 15, 24, he said, people don't read the whole chapter and they take it out of content, correct? All right. The same thing is being done with John 3, 16. 15. Guess what? Most people don't even know that this is a conversation between a Jew named Nicodemus and Messiah. If you ask most people, they don't even know that this is a conversation between two Jews. They ain't got a clue. When you read the first two, watch this, when you read the verses before he even says, whosoever believe on me, look what he says. He says in verse 14, John 3 and 14, it said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. So what is that talking about? What is this serpent in the wilderness that he's talking about? See, these were two Jews talking to each other. They understood the history. The problem is we're looking at this Bible from an American perspective. That's not how he taught. He was a Jew. Well, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, He was a Jew talking to Jews. So when he said certain things, right. the, Jews, the Jews the Jews caught it because, yeah, because they, they knew the, story listen, they story. Knew the right. history. Right. Most of our people, they don't know it. When they read things like this, they can't explain to me. It said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so. It said, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. What is that talking about? It's talking about Moses lifting up the serpent. No, 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 it's not talking about, hold on, let, let me, oh, like, that's not what they're talking about. When Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, it's talking about in the Old Testament. Right. That all of the Israelites that did not have faith, so you if they had the faith to touch that serpent, then they would actually be saved. Well, that's what that's that's what you just said. Hold on, we're going to read that, hold on, hold on. That's what but, you just but said. But what I'm saying, hold on, watch this. But... He's comparing, but it was only to Israelites. Mm -hmm. We don't get that. He's comparing what happened with Moses and the serpent and the wilderness. To Listen, what he's doing? Right. He comparing it to the Messiah. Watch what it says. I'm reading 14 again. It said, "And as Moses, as me and to just like right? right, Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness." Even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up, just like that serpent was lifted up in the wilderness. Right. That's Even just the, like right, that's just like what had to be, had to be done right. for the Son of Man. Now, right. watch what it say. It says that whosoever believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now, let's read. Let's read what happened, so we can get a clear understanding of what He's talking about. This is Numbers chapter twenty-one. This is Numbers chapter twenty-one. And um, I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, And the people spake against God and against Moses. Therefore have ye brought, brought, uh, therefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness. For there is no bread, neither is there any water. And our souls loathe is like bread. Right. And Yahweh sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and right. much people of Israel died. So we know that this is talking about what's going on with Israel and Moses. Now watch this. It said, much of them died. Verse 7. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned, for we have spoken against Yahweh and against thee. Pray unto Yahweh that he take away the serpent from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. So look at the process. The process was we sinned. All right, so, help us. Moses prayed. Most High provided a solution. He said, you look upon this pole, you will be saved alive. It said, and Moses made the serpent of brass and put it upon the pole, and it came to pass that 
if the serpent bit any man that he that when he beheld the serpent brass, it said he lived. Now watch this. When you go up, okay, this is this is look upon the um, the serpent to be healed. They had to first confess, we have sinned. Right. He made a solution. Look upon the serpent, receive healing. Right. That's the same way he said with the Messiah. Now the people have to look upon the Messiah to be healed. Now watch how it's worded in verse in verse 8. It said, and, and Yahweh said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, set it upon a pole, and it shall come to pass that everyone, is that saying the entire nations, all, every single nation? Who is this talking about? It's talking about the Israelites, but this is not. But it's saying everyone. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. Every it, one of the people that. Right? Everyone and whosoever is saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Whosoever yeah. means everyone, right? Yeah. This is saying everyone that is bitten. Look, when he look upon it, he shall live. Who is this talking about? The people that were there that was Israelites. It, it, so who was Christ talking to? He was talking to Nicodemus, correct? Yeah. Wasn't he a Jew? Yeah. He compared this story, this exact story, to him. So right here in verse 8, that everyone that is bitten, who is everyone? The ones that was there. Listen, and it will it was be only, so was they a, got bitten. Listen, so Yahweh so, specifically says in the scriptures that he only dealt with the Jews. And in secret I have said nothing. Whenever he ever met congregation, he was only dealing with Jews. Uh -huh. He only went to his people. We already went to Matthew 15, 24. Um, let's get um let, let's get um John 18 verse 20. John 18 verse so wait, 20. So let me I want to understand what your point is. Your point is No, that, the whole John 3:16. The let, whole point is that black people are uh, let, let, let's go back again, John 17 and 9. I want you to listen. That's the whole. I, I, I want you to listen. Let, All right, hold, now, on, hold on, I found the scripture right here. I, I, I want you to I listen. I found the scripture. Can, can we? Can we had the mic for a little while? Let's let's uh, let's change it up just a Okay, so we rebuttal on you. He has a rebuttal. Okay. What about John 3:16? Mm -hmm. What is he on? John 3:16? No, this is Acts 13:42. Uh, okay, so Acts. So this story is talking about um, God is sending his disciples to the Gentiles now. Yeah, the Gentiles. So the Gentiles are coming to the saying, synagogue. But, but, but what he's saying is, what you're saying is the Gentiles is part uh, of the Jews. They are Israelites. That they were broken that's what he's oh, not no, That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah, saying so that, I'm saying that whoever is, follows Christ is a Israelite. That's what I'm saying. No, that's not, that's not true. Yeah. See, Christ, the, the Israelites, it was never about the Israelites. Oh, come on. Man. It was about Christ. Show me where the scriptures where it said it wasn't. You just look at the bloodline. Once I, Christ I is born, you, there's no more bloodline. I gave you There's no Isaiah more. 40, I'm telling you where the, the proof is. The proof is in the bloodline. Once Christ so is born. All Israelites died out. Then we once said? Christ is born. Every Israelite died. I didn't say no, nothing about Israelites dying. You said dying. the bloodline was over. I'm saying that Christ fulfilled the, his mission and that he was the reason. For that, everything. Yeah, that Jacob, Abraham, all right. that. Right. All of them, all of them was. So that Jesus could be born. So Jesus could be born. So once and then Jesus once Jesus born, was born, there was no need for no more bloodline. And anybody who follows yeah. Christ yeah. is Abraham's seed because Christ is God. Show me that in scripture. Show me, you know give what? me the scripture. You know I'm just telling you. Y'all ain't gonna never get nowhere um, with this kind of attitude. Um, no, you said he ain't mad. That's his personality. No, I'm saying, I'm saying the room. I'm saying the room. You should never argue about God. Okay, but sister, this is his personality. He's not arguing. No, are you arguing? Okay, let's go. Let me give you a couple scriptures. But this disagreement is so strong. You believe in Let me give you a couple scriptures. Let's let the Bible speak, not me. I'm just going to read this verbatim. Go ahead, read it. John 17 and 9 again. Now, you have an understanding of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his own only begotten Son, that whosoever should not believe in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now what I have here is I looked into a dictionary and I looked up the word world. This is what the word world can mean. It can mean universe, it can mean the earth with all of its inhabitants, or it can mean a class or a group of people with common characteristics, pursuits, like, world like the Absolutely. scientific world, Absolutely. like the Arab world, Absolutely. or the world of Israel. So let's see what world he was talking about in John 3.16. Now let's read John 17 and 9 again. Mm -hmm. 
Let's read John 17 and 9 real slow. You got that? This is John 17 and Listen 9. to this real quick, sister. I pray for them. Now, he said I pray for them, the specific people. Read. I pray not for the world. Read that part again. I pray not for the world. So now we got a problem. We read in John 3.16 that he said he, he so loved the, the world. world. So it can't be talking about the world as a whole. Right. It has to be talking about those particular uh, people right. practicing right. particular right. customs. Because he said, I pray not for the world. Mm -hmm. I pray not. The Bible's not contradicting itself. Yeah. So now there must be a misunderstanding somewhere. Because he said, I pray not for the world. Let's see who he's praying for. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Okay, so now, now I understand that to mean, right. for they are thine. Anybody that accepted Jesus as their No, he said, they that thou hast given me. Right, and, and not you anyone. think that God said, gave my voice to him? My sheep hear my voice. He my said, they that thou have given me. Right. So oh, hold on, but my, he's taking my orders. My voice. He's taking orders from the Most High. He said, they that, that thou, thou have given He's me. separating himself from the Most High. Right. He said, that thou, who, that, who, that God who, has given who me. Who did the Most High give the Christ? The Israelites in Matthew 15, 24. The ones that so follow him. So let me him. just ask a question, though. Why is it so important? John 18, that is, verse 20. No, wait a minute. Why oh. is it so important that it's the Israelites? Because this is what the Bible says. That's no, I'm Bible asking says. you. Because that's, that's what the Bible says. That's what the Most High says in the scriptures. John 18, verse 20. Let's read John 18. Let's read this right Let's see what he's saying. John 18, verse 20. You're going to read and read and read. And look, and read that right there. Right after this, brother. It says in John 18, verse 20. Watch this. It said, Yahweh shall answer. I spake openly to the world. So the, the only one he ever he spoke to was Israelites. Israelite. He never spoke to anyone else. Right. I ever taught in the synagogue. He always taught in the synagogues. He, did. he didn't go to anyone and else. And in the temple. Well, he, he preached yeah. a sermon on the mountain. And in the temple. And to plenty of people. Israelites. Yeah. Not and only. The, and then the, I'm going to read it again. Because other Yahweh people would be. Answer, Listen to him. Where they I say he went to teach openly people. in the world. In the world. So he went, said he went and spoke to the world. Now we know he didn't go and talk to these all of these other people. He talked to the world of Israel. Okay? I ever taught in the synagogues, in the temples, whether the Jews always Where who? resort. Where who was? Where, Where the, the Jews, Jews always, always was. resort. Not the whole planet. Where the Jews always resort. That's what right. he said. But if you continue reading, Read on. he opens it up it to says, Gentiles. And sat. It said, in secret have I said nothing. Right. Let's, let's get a scripture for this brother, Gentile. So, um, in, 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 uh, let's get, this, so this brother doesn't understand that, what Gentile what is. Doing. That? That's, that's, See, that's 13. Uh, uh, again, uh, uh, again, I sister. Don't know verse you're trying to get do you understand that there's two different the kinds of Gentiles? There's what, Gentiles. What, what verse? You, you know, know um, there's Gentiles verse that was Gentiles by birth, meaning that other nations were And there was there was Gentiles who was Jews. Who, that stopped getting circumcised. Right, that's, that's straight away from the. That's straight away from the Lord, Lord. and they, they, they had a Gentile state of mind, yeah. okay. just like today. A lot of people have a Gentile state yeah. of mind because they don't acknowledge themselves as Israelite. Right. That's a Gentile state of mind. All right. Um, now, um, it said, "This is um, Acts 13, it said 47, right? Yes. And 48, all right." said for so has the Lord commanded us saying I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles that thou should be for salvation unto the ends of the earth and, the and earth. when and when the Gentiles heard this they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord and as many as were ordained um, to everlasting life believed um, yes, it's like you said, to the ends of the earth. Now, where were the location of the Israelites when he said this? Did anybody know where the Israelites was located? He was in, in Acts. Where were they, yeah, where were they located? In Rome. I'm going to read to you from the Bible. Um, can, you, can you give me Acts 2? Did I get this? Well, you need to uh, put down a scripture about Gentiles. A scripture you put on Gentiles. Um, this is what it says. And this is Deuteronomy 4 and 27. This is a prophecy about when Israel will rebel, where the Most High will do. It says, And Yahweh shall scatter you 
among the nations. All right? And ye be few in number among the heathens. Whether Yahweh shall lead thee. So where were they located? I guess they were. Yeah. So when we, sister, they were located in the entire, it was all over the earth. So what he's saying when he said he scratched it to the far ends of the earth, why? Because his people was there. So we can't say that. Let's that deal with the scripture that the brother pulled on Gentiles. Now I'm going to show you that that was Israelites that got destroyed for a lack of knowledge, like people today calling themselves Baptists. Um, Jehovah Witness and so on and so forth that's destroyed for lack of knowledge and they became known as Gentiles they were Gentiles but they was in front of both Israelites but they stopped getting circumcised this is why we read the uh, Apocrypha because it's all in here but they was taken out by the Roman Canaan Society I got a 1611 in my bag it has the Apocrypha in it it's not taken out I have Apocrypha yeah so Romans 12 verse 1 what? now concerning spiritual gifts Brother, mm -hmm. that they're going to brother Paul. Who was the Apostle Paul's brothers? The Israelites. First Corinthians, verse one. Uh, so I can first, first Corinthians twelve, verse one. I will not have you ignorant. Well, brethren, I thought he was speaking to the church. Listen, listen. Okay. We're, going to, we're going to find out who his brother was. Okay. I'm, going to, I'm going to give you Romans ten, verse one, to prove that. So, First Corinthians twelve, verse one. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know. That ye were Gentiles, ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as they were served. So he told Israelites that we were Gentiles. Uh, how do we know that? Romans 10 verse 1. Brethren, because we're going to find out who the Apostle Paul was for. Because a lot of people like lie on Paul and say he went to save all nations. No, he told you who he was for. Romans 10 verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayers to Yahweh for Israel, not the whole world, for Israel, that they might be saved. Now, go to get Romans, the nations Romans 9. This right here, Romans 9, is the toughest chapter to the whole None Christian what? doctrine. Because it's too clear. Romans, Romans, 9, read Romans 9, I'm going to start at 1. And we're going to see the difference between what most Christian churches teach and what the well, what, is describe saying. a Christian church for me because you say you keep saying Christian church. You don't know what a Christian church is? No. Well, a Christian church essentially is supposed to mean followers of a Mashiach. So, whatever he did, they're supposed to be doing. That means, you know, they're supposed to be keeping the Shabbat, they're supposed to be keeping all of the other laws because the only law that was actually done away with was a law of animal sacrifice. sacrifice. Hold on, all hold the hold other laws are supposed to be kept because that's what he's done. A crescent moon on the microphone, yeah. and that has nothing to do with Christ. Who are you following? That's those are Satan symbols. Okay, what does that have to do with the, with discussion? You don't you don't know the um, symbolic to, that has nothing to, to do with this. He's trying to divert. He's trying to divert. Ain't got nothing to do with what we said, bro. He just right. said it. Yeah. He gets a good so I mean, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> are these not our people? I don't know. Yeah, they are our people. But they think that they're Egyptologists. They think that they're Muslims. They think that they're a part of the black conscious community. So because they are into this, are we not supposed to go out and try and reach them as well? Absolutely. Yeah, we're supposed to reach them. Did not Hamashiach tell the apostles, go, go to the, the entire world. world? In the beginning, he didn't tell them that. But when he was about to be risen, he said, go and teach the truth to the entire world. Why did he say that? See, the average Christian mind would take that and say, well, that means to go to preach to all people. No, it doesn't. It was prophesied in Luke 21 and 24 that the nation of Israel was going to be destroyed and scattered to all four corners of the world. So in order to save them, now... Yeah, they got to go to the entire world. Because they're yeah. all, they're so in the beginning, he didn't tell them that. Right. But because towards the end, the he was like, go to the entire world. Because the prophecy was with the um, second well, destruction of the temple. Right. you got to go yeah. to the whole world now yeah. and save these people. Yeah. you got to go and get these Israelites mm -hmm. that's in a Gentile state of mind. That's true. That's now, true. Um, now, Romans Romans 9, it says, Romans oh. 9 and 1, it says, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost 
that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brother. Who is his my, brother? My kinsman, according to the flesh. So we know that he's speaking specifically about Israelite. His, his Israelite brothers and sisters. It says, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption. So the, do the adoption pertain means belong to. The adoption belongs to the Israelites. It says, and the glory, the glory belong to the Israelites. And the covenants, plural, the covenants belong to the Israelites. And the giving of the law belong to the Israelites. And the service of God belong to the Israelites. And the promises belongs to the Israelites. Now watch this. Whom are the fathers and whom and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. Christ came for the Israelites. It says who, who is over all God blessed forever. Amen. It said not as though it said the word of God had had taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are Israel. Meaning, some people ain't going to want this truth. Some Israelites ain't going to want to hear it. It said, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Because Abraham was the father of many nations. So other nations came out of Abraham. He said, it wasn't just because they came out of Abraham. It said, no, in Isaac. Your seed going to be called. And watch what it continues to say. Verse 8. It said that is they which are the children of the flesh. The other nations that didn't come out of Isaac. These are not the children of God. So it's saying it right there. It said but the children of promise are counted for the seed. The children of promise. Isaac was the promised son. Right. He was the promised son. So he said the children of promise. They were counted for the seed of God. It said the other ones wasn't his children. It said, for this is the word of promise. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. It said not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. So he said our father. He talking to Israelites. Look, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. That the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works. You're not elected right. because of works. Right. It has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with your works. Right. Right. So we can't say, oh, they believe, and right. then they did, right. and then they was elected. They right. can't be Israelites based on their works. Right. This is telling you they're not chosen based on their works. Right. Look, or, or they said, yeah, right. or they faith. It said, but of him that called them, but because the most high chose them. It said, it was said unto her. The elder shall serve the younger. It said, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, and Esau have I hated. So the Most High said that he hate these people. He said, Jacob, he loves. This is before they was even born. Before they was even born, he said, look, this one I love, this one I hate. It said, before any works was performed or done. So we can't say that these people have salvation if God said these people don't have salvation. You can read the book of Obadiah and he says he's going to kill off the entire seed of Esau. Yeah. So we can't say, well, I got these feelings for Esau, so they're not going to die. I don't care what the Lord says. Right. We can't do that. We got to read and believe what thus says the Lord. Right. The most I got a problem with them people, then the most I got a problem with them people. Let's see, let's see what the I Lord said about, about the nations. There. Isaiah, there ain't a thing I can do about the word of the most high. Book of Isaiah 40, verse 15. And we come in with scriptures. Behold, the nations... We're talking about all nations besides the nation of Israel. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. That's what he how he feels about them compares to the nation of Israel. Go over to the book of Second Idris, yeah, the sixth it. chapter. You got it. Sixth Second, chapter. Verse 54. Verse 54. Read what you got. Alright, this is 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter. About the, nation. Uh, the sixth chapter, verse 54, it said, After these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, so all and, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. 
Because the people, so now, now this is point, uh, let me point out, say he, this is pointing out that he chose a specific people. It says the people that thou hast chosen. Oh. Not the whole world, okay? Yeah, we know he Verse 55. Specific people. It says, people all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madeth the world for our sake. So he made the world for Israel. As for the other people. And now, what about the other people? What about the white people? What about the African? Which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Nothing. But be like unto spit, like spit. That, that's what the Most High think of the other name. This is in the Bible. This is in the Bible. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from the vessel. Now get Donald Trump out of that. Get 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 Donald Trump out of that. Get Hillary Clinton out of that. You can't. Now, this is in the Bible, and we're reading it verbatim. Uh, no interpretations uh, or nothing. See, uh, we can close the book right there. Uh, so. He said that he liked him. I'm going to read verse 56 again. As for the other people, the people that wasn't chosen to be the seeds of the most the most high, which is <laughs> Jacob's sons and daughters. Yeah, nothing. When we get it up says, there, we'll all see. Said, no, we're we'll reading. We're we'll reading. Yeah, right here. <laughs> when we get there, I want to see you there. That's all I know. Well, well you can read it. sisters, you got to keep the commandments and live like the scriptures say. Amen. You know? Um, it said, as for the other people, which... Also come of Adam. They came of Adam. Yep. Everybody say, man, we all come from Adam. I thought the ones that came from Adam, Adam they died in the flood. Look, now, now, like Noah, they Noah's the whole son, son Ham and Jacob. Right. Yeah, yeah. The Genesis whole world the 10th chapter said the whole earth was repopulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By yeah. these people. So, so Noah comes from Adam. That's why I said it that way. Oh, you see okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So, so it says, as for the other people which also come of Adam, Thou hast said they are nothing, but like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them, all of them gathered together. The abundance of them, meaning a whole lot of them, all of them. You have likened the abundance of them unto the drop, a drop that falleth from a vessel. That's like a, a drop of water. You got a whole bucket. That's how the Most High feel about them. 